And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge. Information. Files can always be changed in a secret way. Can you find the flag? And then we have cat.jpg. So this one actually took me some time and was a bit frustrating. And rather than just immediately show you guys the answer, because I, I kind of think it's lame when people just jump all the way to the end and, and don't show you their thinking, and then you just think, well, what am I, stupid? Why couldn't I figure this out? So my first thought was this won't be an actual JPEG, but it was. Then when I looked at it, I looked in the background and I saw a whole bunch of programming. And so I zoomed in on that and tried to make sense of anything going on there. And it didn't mean much to me, but I saw 31255. And I thought, could that be a password? Maybe FFRR, FFMM, that didn't seem like much to me, but maybe, maybe this five digit number was a password. And so first I did some simple checks on this. I ran strings just because, actually we'll pipe that into less and I'll explain what this does. So this is looking through the entire file and it's trying to find anything that's readable. And we can see some stuff that's of interest, Pico CTF, but not much. I didn't find the flag in here. Less just means we're gonna get this paged. So rather than it all uh, sprawling out immediately and going past us, we can run through it using space. So it's a lot. I'm going to show you another way to look for something. So we're going to grep, which is like a search over all those strings, ignoring cases for Pico. And we can see no flag. So the next thing I thought was, could this be steganography? Steganography is uh, a process by which you hide information in an image. So as an example, let's see. Here, this is a good one. So the Mona Lisa, when you represent it as uh, a digital image, it's just a series of red, green, and blue pixel values. And you've got a pretty big area that you use to describe this. So you might see like uh, 15 million colors are possible for a certain kind of camera with, with JPEG or PNG or 30 million colors. So that's, that's a lot of colors. And your eye can't really determine the difference between say red 13 million and red 13 million and one, for example. So you can use some of these bits that you have, say the least significant bits, and then Rather than having perfect colors, you use those to encode a message. So that's the idea. So I started playing around with stego hide, which, steg hide, excuse me. The manual is here. Whenever you don't understand something, always look at the manual, uh, Google for examples, explanations, things like that. So I started with this and I said steg hide, and then I was interested in extracting. So this is embedding up here. We want to extract a message potentially. So Stig hide, extract, and then we want to provide the flag for a stego file, minus sf, cat.jpg. And we'll give it that password that we saw, 31255, in the image. Could not extract any data with that passphrase. So I tried another one. I tried with the commas in. Nothing. Couldn't get it. So then I took a look at the hints. Look at the details of the file. OK. So I did an LL. And I took a look, and I didn't see anything special there. And then the second hint was not helpful at all. Uh, you know, it just tells us the format we're looking for, which we already knew. So I started searching image metadata. And I came across EXIF, apparently, is a format. And this guy happens to have a viewer for those formats. Boy, these are hard to make out. I hope I can pass as a human being. So I ran this through to see what we had. There's our cat. And I started looking and I said, file type, that looks right. Mime type, that looks right. Uh, I don't know what this IPTC is. The license, that looks wrong, 100%. Normally a license would be like MIT or GNU or something like that. So I looked at these and this one looks to be base64 encoded. The way that I'm telling is I'm just looking at the characters that are available, uh, seem to be avail available. We have uh, a lot of characters here so we can get a sense of kind of the set of everything that can be used. So let's plug it into a base64 decoder and see if anything comes out of either one of those. So we're going to take that and decode it as Unicode, and we'll see. And there we go. Pico CTF, the metadata is modified. There's our flag. I want to show you one more thing, just because we started talking about steganography. Hooray, we solved it. And uh, I think it's cool. I think it'll come up at some point if you continue to do CTFs. So what I did was I downloaded this cat astronaut to be our base image that we're going to put our secret into. 
then I have my secret file.txt, which I'm just saying is my diary, where I talk about all my crushes and other embarrassing secrets. So what I would like to show you is I'd like to show you how to embed that secret. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to look at the steganography page. We're interested in the embed command. So steg hide embed. And as we read, so the embed file, that's the file that will be embedded that contains the secret message. So that's my secret file. We have the cover file, which will be used to hide it. As you can see, it has to be either a JPEG, a WAV, uh, that's a sound file, that's another visual file. I don't know what an AU is, but it has to be one of those. So that's kind of cool. You could hide it in music if you wanted to. Oops, EF, sorry for that flag. Minus CF for the cover file, which is going to be my cat astronaut. And if you want to name what it's going to be called, I'm going to call it suspiciouscat.jpg. And I looked at the rest, and these may be cool, but we don't need them. So we're asked to give it a password, passphrase, enter it twice. And now we have our new image right here, which you can see is slightly different than the old cat. So this was 2593 was the size versus 2408. So slightly different, interestingly smaller. Now let's try extracting it just to be sure this worked. Steg hide, extract. Again, I'm just reading off the documentation. I did do this before just to be sure I wouldn't bore you guys uh, reading off everything. But so this is the steganography file. So the file that has the hidden data is the minus sf option. And then we want to name this. We're going to call this secret.txt, uh, maybe extracted secret. I like that. We get prompted for a passphrase. We put in what we just put in before. And there we see our recovered secret. All right, perfect. Thanks so much. Look forward to seeing you next time. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Bye.